All right, so now I'm here with meteorologist Nathan Scott for more on this EF1 tornado that was now confirmed in West Little Rock. And yesterday we were thinking that tornado was primarily straight line winds, but the National Weather Service meteorologist went down today in that region, acted like detectives, looked at the clues of what the storm left behind, and here's what they found. Strong winds slammed parts of Southwest Little Rock Thursday afternoon. That had to be. It had to be, yep. National Weather Service meteorologist went to survey the damage Friday. Let's see. Coming through the topple trees and debris, searching for clues on what struck yeah, the area. Gonna... Looks like something probably started maybe in the trees back there and then came. No matter how small the evidence, even a leaf can be important. Something like this embedded up into a tree trunk is, it's not natural. Quickly, the answer was revealed in Martin Cemetery. The trees over there are pointing this general direction. This tree is pointing in that general direction. When choosing straight line winds versus tornado. So you'd actually see the damage spread out. Like uh, if you imagine throwing a water balloon on the ground, what that does to the grass, it spreads the grass out in all locations. And so a tornado does damage in two ways. It's violent rotation and then violent updraft at the same time. So that tends to bring everything in towards a common, uh, common line. After Dennis Cavanaugh chooses what hit, the next question is how strong was the tornado? We have uh, a, something called the damage assessment toolkit, and that allows us to take pictures of damage uh, and then you know, relate that back to what they found on research. Basically, people that have tested uh, damage and debris and wind tunnels and stuff. Meteorologists look at the fine details of damage. For example, a manufactured home with typical construction can be flipped and remain intact with winds ranging from 84 to 114 miles per hour. But if the manufactured home is destroyed, then winds will range from 110 to 148 miles per hour, depending on the construction. Seeing large trees snapped, Cavanaugh has a conclusion. So uh, what we found here is uh, pretty strong evidence of an EF1 tornado, and that's going to include wind speeds of 86 to 110 miles per hour. GPS points are placed in a database to track the path of the damage. When the damage path ends, that is where the twister lifted back into the clouds. So Ed, they looked at a lot today, but primarily it was the trees. Looking at the trees and seeing if they were snapped or uprooted told the story of how strong the winds were. That's good, Nathan, and we appreciate that because it's interesting. There's so much evidence, like you said. They have to look at all the evidence, and if the trees are all laying one way, and we saw that in the video yesterday that Michael Aaron from that surveillance camera, the debris the was blowing one changed, way, yeah. and then the winds were blowing the debris the other way. So an EF1, the strongest tornado reported in Pulaski County yesterday. Thank you, Nathan, and thank you, Dennis Cavanaugh and the National Weather Service for letting us tag along. Back to you guys.